and then you just go back over it with more paint to darken it. Light pressure. Because I'm moving my arm side to side, it creates an uneven shape that looks very natural. This is going to add lots of texture to the canvas. because I'm using lots of thick paint and a light pressure. It's going to feel like real pine needles. Decisions, decisions. Maybe there's another one that lives right there. Go cover up this whole right side here. Maybe there's a little area to peek through to the mountain, so I'll just fill all this in. I don't know where it's going to end yet. Because this paint's so wet, you have to constantly reload. There we go. I'm starting to add a lot of depth. The darkness is the key to uh, oil paintings. I'm going to just come down to about here. And I'm going to go back up to the this one. Add a little bit more. No, we'll put in some tree trunks. Want to put in some tree trunks? Want to see me put in some tree trunks? Well, let's see, I'm switching to a knife. And this is a palette knife, so I'm going to cut across some paint to get a roll. I'm going to cut across, well, let's see, both, both browns. I'm using two different browns, Van Dyke brown, dark sienna, a little white. And I'm getting a small roll. Hopefully you can see that a very tiny roll. And I'm just tilting my handle slightly to the side and touching the canvas. Allowing the canvas to grab what it wants to as I go upwards. There's even different ways you can do this too. You can pull to the side to make a wider tree trunk. And see when you put the highlights on it's going to cover up most of this. When you look at a tree, you, very few that you see every inch of all parts of the tree trunk. The leaves are in front of it, covering it up. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to add highlights to your trees. I'm going to uh, wipe off my brush a little bit. I just squeeze it out with a paper towel. I'm going directly into yellow, a little bit of titanium white. Uh, let's do the arborvitas, what I call arborvitas. Um, just touch, holding the bristle vertical, and just touch very lightly, moving your arm side to side. See how that one looks separate. Adding a little linseed oil to my paint. That looks separate than the one next to it. And you don't have to do every one. Because not all trees in nature have highlight or look brighter than others. Now yeah, let's see, I can add a little bit more paint. Now because I'm moving my arms side to side, it will keep some of the dark showing. There we go. I think I'll go back over this area. This is the grassy area that I had in here before. And a little bit of some more grass. There we go. Okay, I'll do the same thing on the left side. Decide on which one I want to have showing like they're uh, closer to me or they have a lighter value. I'm 
maybe this one. There we go. Now I can use part of the brush. Right now I'm only using the top half. I don't have to use the full width. Experiment with your brushes. Try different brushes to create different types of trees. Try different parts of those brushes. Now a little bit more highlight to this one. Now see how I turn it over? Because I already used some of the other side of the brush. The brush will actually create the beautiful leaves for you. Now I'll have fun with adding highlights to the larger trees. Same colors, yellow and white. This time I'm tapping towards the paint. Remember you're holding the bristle flat and I'm using the front half of the brush. So I'm going up a little bit higher because the highlights would start at the top. As I come down side to side with my movement of my arm, I'm actually covering up some of the pine tree trunk. And when I don't see a difference in color or contrast, I reload. That's a pretty tree. Isn't that a pretty tree? I think I'll cover up the, maybe these are bushes down here, who knows. All of a little bit more green. That's the fun about uh, creating a painting. I don't know what I'm going to do until I do it. Just try things, have fun. Put in a tree. Try another tree. Okay, see how I'm doing the same thing? I'm using the front half of my brush. I don't use the full width. And it's a light pressure. Now you'll know you're doing it correctly if you can still see some of the tree trunk through your paint. And if you see a lot of texture, you're having tons of fun with paint, that's good. Now if it looks a little smudged when you're creating these, Nine times out of ten, you're pressing too hard, or you're not using enough paint. I'm coming down to the bottom. There we go. So now I've added a highlight. I started a little bit higher than the dark. I've gone past the dark on the sides so that that is a lighter value for the leaves on the tree. And I've crisscrossed or gone back and forth with my arm, making sure I can see through the paint and still see the trunks. And that's how you create uh, some fun pine trees with two different, uh, two different areas of your brush.